Hello, sport fan. This is Stephen Hill for Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the Los Angeles Rams. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates each and every time we have breakdowns here at Sports Choice Plus. Before I get right into that, we're going to look at this. Um, looking at this game here, this is going to be potentially an NFC Championship matchup. When you look at Matthew Stafford taking on Tom Brady, you see a lot of history there. You see a lot of yards on Matthew Stafford's side. You see a lot of yards on Tom Brady's side. A lot of touchdowns on Matthew Stafford's side. A lot of touchdowns on Tom Brady's side. When I tell you, Matthew Stafford looks like a whole other quarterback on this Rams team. When you give him these kind of weapons, this kind of time with that offensive line, and that kind of defensive protection, listen, listen, Matthew Stafford has never looked so happy on the sideline. Even when he had Megatron, he didn't have this kind of flexibility on defense to match that kind of offensive firepower. Yes, having Megatron in Detroit with the Lions was something special, but you got to look at just exactly what you look at over here when you got Aaron Donald and company out there knocking folks out, out there getting the ball back for you on quick turnovers, giving you great field position because they're getting interceptions and forced fumbles. This is crazy. Matthew Stafford in that offense can be creative as they want to because Matthew Stafford has the arm to make every single throw. Sean McVay has been creative with the offense, making sure he's getting the guys ins and out into the right plays, in, uh, in and out audibling to the right uh, plays, and then doing things with the running back. Remember when they had all those injuries to start the season and then Sonny Michelle got traded? Well, look who's starting to show up. Sonny Michelle's starting to show up. Running back by committee starting to show up. And these guys are really starting to take on the next man mentality and really putting in dividends for the Rams. So when I'm looking at this game here, you're going to have a tough test because the, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense is no joke and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offense is no joke. It's going to be a tough test for the Rams team all day long to be able to cover all these solid receivers, like your Godwins, the, the Mike Williamses, I mean, the Mike uh, Evans, uh, 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 AB, you know, you got Gronk. You have so many different things. And then when the running backs get going, if those running backs get going, it's going to be even longer day for the Rams. The Rams are solidified with Aaron Donald on the line, who can also run tackle and he can also pass rush. But I think that Tampa's going to have to use the aggressiveness versus the Rams uh, against them. So when the Rams get aggressive on defense, they're going to have to use those on those quick bubble screens and then those quick pumps and then going deep. I think Mike Evans is going to have to really pick up his pace. He's going to have to get in and out these routes and, and possibly he could have Jalen Ramsey on him all day. Mike Evans, as big as he is, could have Jalen Ramsey on him all day. So that's going to be something matchup you want to watch. And I, I want to think, OK, can Jalen get under his skin? Can Jalen get him frustrated? The answer is yes. Yes. Realistically, yes. And if Mike Evans can't get off, that gives these other cornerbacks confidence that they're guarding their man, that they will let their man get off either. So they, it's going to be a tough test, folks. I think that it's going to be a close ball game. I think this is going to come down to a one possession, one score game. And I'm picking the Los Angeles Rams to upset the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I'm picking the Rams to win this one. I think Matthew Stafford is going to have a big day through the air. Making decisions is a good thing that he has uh, with Sean McVay, it looks like they got a great relationship and he's really spinning that rock. I think that the Rams believe in him as a quarterback and that confidence shows. California kids are going to be out and balling in full effect in this one. I think that, you know, when it's all said and done, the Rams have the perfect recipe for a team to go to the Super Bowl. They've got their guy at quarterback. Now, everybody becomes more lethal, especially Woods. Look at Robert Woods out there balling, showing out, just showing out. So I'm picking the Rams to win this one. All you Rams fans, all you Buccaneers fans, get in the comment section below and definitely check out Sports Choice Plus on the YouTube channel. Definitely make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.